Without a doubt, my most memorable day was day one. With the assistance of Space Station Commander Ola Konyenko, Christina Cook of NASA, the first one through the hatch being greeted. That was the day that I have seared in my memory. Visions when I first arrived here, opening the hatch, seeing some of my best friends on the other side, floating through, seeing my first glimpses of the actual interior of the space station after having traveled here for six hours on a small Soyuz spacecraft, that it actually exists for the betterment of humanity, doing science and exploring, that it was real and that I got to live here. I'm very privileged to have that as one of my favorite memories. One time as a crew, all six of us were together. And one thing we enjoy doing is singing karaoke, believe it or not. And we were belting out one of our favorite karaoke songs, Winds of Change. And as you know, we have the internet here supplied by a KU band antenna, which has passes where sometimes it has to reset and we'll lose that internet. So we're belting out Winds of Change and all of a sudden the feed dies. And we go on and we're talking for a little while, maybe 10 minutes or so go by. And then suddenly the KU band antenna picks back up the satellite and Winds of Change, our karaoke video starts really loud in the speakers again and without missing a beat conversation instantly stops and we all just resume singing immediately and uh, that was a really really great moment subscribe for more space